tonight, President Biden doubling down on his efforts to win over black voters, taking his message to two radio hosts to have their fingers on the pulse of black voters, saying, remember who Trump is. We understand that the black community is a critical, critical, critical for the growth and security of the country. The guy I'm running against has done nothing for the African American community, virtually nothing, except criticize it. Remember who Trump is. He falsely accused of Central Park Five. He was the founder of Burger. He tried to repeal Obamacare the first time. Right. Now he's promised to do even more damage. Out front now, the two radio show hosts that President Biden was just speaking to, Sherwin Hughes, the host of The Truth with Sherwin Hughes in Wisconsin, and the host of The Big Tigger Morning Show in Georgia, Darian Big Tigger Morgan. And I appreciate both of you uh, being with me very much. It, you know, this is just at the heart of this now. I mean, sure, when President Biden told your listeners that Trump, uh, he told you, quote, has done nothing for the African-American community. And yet, Sherwin, obviously, you, you talked to him about the polls. You know, Biden won 87% of the black vote in 2020. The most recent poll has him only getting 74% of that vote. But people say they'll definitely or probably vote for him. One in five black voters who backed him in 2020 say they don't know if they will even vote at all. Sherwin, what do you think is the biggest reason for this? I think people need to be reminded of where we were four years ago. We're in the early stages of a COVID-19 pandemic that we know rocked the African-American community. Our unemployment rates were through the roof. You know, we went to the grocery store and we saw bare shelves and we couldn't even get toilet paper. And I think if people are reminded of where we were four years ago, especially with a president that denied the pandemic, that did not pay much attention to the suffering of the African-American community, when people are reminded of how bad things were then, and then you look at some of the progress that's been made in the last four years, then I think some of those voters who are on the fence will ultimately come back around. So, Tig, let me ask you about the another slice of this, the way the, the, the vote looks right now. Harry Enton, who runs a lot of these numbers for us, had pointed out this, this crucial difference right now between young and old. Now, we see it across many demographics, right? But in, in the black voting community on Biden and Trump, uh, people who are 45 years old uh, and older overwhelmingly support Biden over Trump. It's 75 percent to 12. But for black voters under 45, take Biden 60 percent, Trump 32 percent. I mean, that is a totally different world. Why do you think Trump is resonating m more with younger black voters as we see in those polls? When you look no further than social media uh, for the misinformation and disinformation that's being put out there, lots of people in our community uh, have this illusion that Trump gave the hood money. Uh, they believe that Trump, because he put his name on these checks, was the reason that money came to them and that why the why we were up, so to speak, uh, during that time period. And, you know, like the older demographic, they don't have any problem fact checking. They'll hear something, they'll go back, they'll research and see if it's true, mm. do a little research behind it. Uh, younger people, if, if it's on the gram, it's probably true. It's kind of the, the thought process and it's, it's mm. rather unfortunate. You couple that with the apathy uh, about voting in general in our community and it, it, it could be problematic. So that, it's interesting that you point that out and just the role of social media. Sherwin, Trump has pushed his own theory about his support of black, with black voters. He, he talks about this a lot. He says that it is because of his multiple criminal indictments and his mugshot. Here's one way he put it. A lot of people said that that's why the black people like me because they have been hurt so badly and discriminated against. We've all seen the mugshot. And you know who embraced it more than anybody else? The black population. It's incredible. You see black people walking around with my mugshot. You know, they do shirts. Sherwin? So let me just start by saying that is so incredibly offensive. And if there are African Americans mm -hmm. that can relate to Donald Trump because of his criminal indictments, it's usually because of policies that have been implemented and supported by Republicans. And just look at how he's being treated while he's on trial, multiple gag orders. If it was anybody else acting the way Trump acted, we would have been thrown in jail. And it's also, it's racist and it's stereotypical. African Americans are law abiding citizens and do not relate to him or gravitate toward him because of his criminal troubles. I think that is just showing exactly how outrageous Donald Trump is and also showing he is completely out of touch with our community. Tig, uh, you were you were nodding you know, as, as you were listening to Trump there. I couldn't agree more. Uh, black people are not monolithic in any particular way. 
uh, from income to background to experiences to education. And for him to uh, unilaterally assume that because we're black and we're affiliated with the you know, criminal culture, and that's why we're, uh, you know, resonating or he's resonating with us is absolutely ridiculous. Tig, I'm curious, do you, you know, when you talk about the role of social media though, do young people, are they seeing this? Are they offended by this? I don't know if they're actually offended. Uh, you know, Trump is, uh, you know, like when you, Trump is like social media and like reality TV, if you will. It's a train wreck waiting to happen and it's hard to look away. And I think that's why he gathers a lot of momentum with young people because it feels like what they've grown up watching, what they're exposed to. Um, I don't know if some people actually, the people who should have been offended by that probably weren't. And that's also a problem. Uh, mm -hmm. I just don't understand why, you know, if we're, if we're talking about just to switch gears for a, a, a moment, yeah. you're talking about women in America uh, and he's completely helped, you know, take away the right to choose. Uh, how, how is that even a something that's on the table for you as a woman that you're going to vote for somebody who took your right to choice away? So, um, you know, that is something that the vice president, Kamala Harris, uh, Sherwin has talked a lot about. Um, and made it and made a key part of, of the time she's spending on the campaign trail. We haven't seen as much of her, uh, but she has been hitting that issue. And today she accepted an offer for a summer debate against whoever Trump picks as his running mate. Senator Tim Scott says he's ready to go. And he is already proving, uh, previewing what, what his message is going to be. And we heard it even when he was running himself uh, for, for the actual top slot. Here he is, Sherwin. America loves President Trump because he's plain spoken easy to understand and he is clear as a bell sure will senator scott if he has chosen will he help trump no i really don't think so especially if he is on a debate stage with kamala harris so the thing about tim scott is that he could have been much more helpful and much more influential on a john lewis voting rights act nowhere to be found on a George Floyd Justice in Policing Act when the entire world was upset by what they saw with the murder of George Floyd, Tim Scott could have been very much a part of that. So even when Tim Scott had the opportunity to impact policies that could help the African-American community, he did not do so. And so him being aligned with Donald Trump is gonna really show us who Tim Scott actually is and contrasting him with Kamala Harris, I think would be perfect for the Biden campaign. All right, well, thank you both very much. Sherwin Tig, appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. All right. And next, 